So when you're playing shooter games, it can get annoying to bump your mouse into your keyboard if you don't have enough space or if it's too big. So why not just get a smaller keyboard? So I was looking through the market for some smaller keyboards and this one stood really out to me. It is a Ducky Mac Mini. It is only 60% of a full-sized keyboard. So it's missing the uh, numpads, the arrow keys, F1 to F10, but the alphabet and number one to 10 and the other ones around is still there. So it's a really compact keyboard, which saves up a lot of space. And um, this one actually has a cherry silent red. So you hear the key presses less. It's more silent compared to other uh, mechanical switches. And the funny thing about this one is that uh, Ducky, they give you additional um, keycaps in a random color to customize your keyboard, but you don't know which one. So it could be pink, it could be blue, it could be red or green. Um, I sure hope it's not going to be pink, because <laughs> that wouldn't fit my, with my setup, but that's uh, a fun part of it. And they also give you a custom uh, space bar, uh, which is maybe Year of the Pig, Year of the Rat. It could also be a custom design. Not a custom, but like a special one. So let's open this one and see uh, what we get. And we should also test it afterwards. Um, just to say this, I am not a professional reviewer. This is just for fun to show you guys what this is and how you can get more mouse pad space because I don't have a lot of that so I needed to buy one of these so let's see what this is okay interesting that's the first look oh it's quite heavy it's supposed to be uh, about one kilogram so this is the keyboard itself it is full aluminium, so that puts some weight on it. So it doesn't have the F1 to F10, it doesn't have the arrow keys or the numpad. So you have a lot of space saved uh, for other things, such as the mouse, so you have more space to move around. Um, but it doesn't seem like I got any special keys here. Maybe there is something underneath this one. Oh, there is. Oh, I am so nervous. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! This is the one I didn't want. It is a little uh, pink reddish. But I do have a black uh, space bar, which I can replace the red one with. But it's not as pink as I thought, so it might work actually. But we'll see. We'll see. And then we have the space bar. And it is the year of the pig, as you can see here. Well, you can't see it there. Well, you still can't see it there. Um, you still can't see it there. Hello. Um, you s There! Now you can see it. So this is the year of the pig edition of the space bar. And it looks really nice, actually. So here we have the items we got from the package. And here is the customized keyboard. Let's go test the RGB and then check uh, how silent the switches really are. All right, so here we have the keyboard activated. It has really bright lights and it's really smooth. And the thing that you can do about this keyboard is that you customize it on the keyboard itself. So you don't need any software to install. So you press these two buttons, you press T to go into the mode or different modes. And um, this is one, and this is one. And then you have customization afterwards. But I won't go into detail about that. You just wanna know how this works. So let's test the sound of the switches. This keyboard has cherry red, while this one has cherry silent red. So we are going to test the sound between these two, compare them and see what the difference is.
So you could clearly tell the difference between these two mechanical switches. The uh, cherry red and the cherry sound red. Uh, the sound red doesn't have this sharp sound that the cherry red has. And it's not as loud as it seems either. So it definitely makes a difference whenever you're streaming or talking in the microphone or if you just want it a bit more quiet. Alright, so tell me what you think about the Ducky Mecha Mini. At least for me, I found it really useful that I saved up so much space because I move my mouse around with my arm itself. So it was really nice to have more mouse pad space for my mouse to move around. And it's also really nice to have a more silent keyboard because whenever I'm speaking to my friends, um, they can hear the keys being pressed. So that will hopefully make it a bit more silent. And yeah, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, let me know if you want to see more of these things that I'm buying. <laughs> Alright, have a good day.